camp here. <sighs> Never getting up again. Good place to camp. Bella, come here. Good girl. I'm kind of liking this spot here, just behind us. It's got all these trees sort of in a circle here. We could tie off the canvas tent, like the ropes, kind of like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Or like, I don't know, kind of in like a hexagon kind of shape. I agree. If, and yeah, I don't know if it's too big, but. No, it's, it's okay. It's a bit more light getting through. Yeah. And, uh, and it's, it looks flatter. So we'll level yeah. it out with snow, but as the canvas or as the stove melts down, we'll have to manage that. But right. it is getting later. We don't probably only have a few hours of sun, so. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Right by the creek, nice stand. I mean, you know, the creek the creek makes it a little easier to get water quickly, like a full pot, than, right. than melt snow. Um, but we can also melt snow, so which is a really good perk of winter. You can just stop and you have water, but mm -hmm. that means you have to get more firewood, right? And wait more. And it's winter camping, it's a bit of a dilemma of getting dehydrated sometimes. So. Anyway, I do see this tree, Dad. If we don't use it as a uh, tie-off, we can use it for firewood, so. Right, yeah. Cool, I like it. Let's do it. Bella, Bella, come on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Go get it. Go get it. Did you find a good spot to lie down? Do you make an ass? Hey, Bella? Good girl. Squirrel. Bella has decided to lay down on the canvas tent. Um, pretty smart. Make a little nest there. Best spot to lie right now, I'd say. She's so cute. So to control. Very cute. Mm-hmm. 
Fortunately, we're gonna need to boot her off because we need to set that up. But we did bring a fur blanket musk ox pelt and she'll be able to lie on that soon. things are inside. Is that okay? 
looks good. Stove is in place. Now we just have to put uh, the pine boughs down in here and get fire going. It'll be nice and comfy. Sweet. Mm hmm. Bella. Good girl. Putting the pine boughs down here as a ground pad to keep us up off the snow. And then we've brought our muskox pelt, which is going to uh, be super cozy on top of the boughs here. But anyway, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Well, it says, let's snuggle in and have some dinner already. Oh, she heard that Can word. You? Oh. Mm hmm. Well, let's get a fire going and settle in. So I was lucky enough to find uh, really close to where we set up a really nice, good, tall piece of uh, hardwood. Looks like ash and you know it'll be nice and dry because all the bark has fallen off of it already. So it uh, should be a really good piece of wood. trying to chop this up into uh, more manageable sized pieces because it was a pretty big tree. Pretty tall anyway. But uh, really good wood. Uh, not too far from camp. So I'm excited about that because the snow's really deep. It sucks trudging through, especially hauling a tree.
so than we need. So for dinner tonight, we have a couple of uh, different backpackers pantries. So this one is a uh, beef stroganoff. So stroganoff sauce, egg noodles, beef and mushroom. Sounds pretty good. Never had it, so I'm excited to try it. The picture looks epic. Oh, I know, right? That's us right there. Is that me and you there? Find us out again? <laughs> right there. It's us. It's me and it's you. Pounding stroganoff. <laughs> oh, John. And the other one we have is Pad Thai. Um, so Sweet. it's got all sorts of yummy uh, Thai rice noodles, veggies, spicy peanut sauce, topped with roasted peanuts, lime juice, sriracha powder. Sounds pretty epic. We couldn't decide, so we're gonna go half seas on each. So we're each gonna have half of each. It says it serves two, but really they're more like one. So yeah, we're gonna do uh, half and half. And this one's got 300 calories, the uh, stroganoff. Times and two. Times two, right. And the pad thai is 460. Seems pretty hearty, it's like heavy. So they both, uh, you just add boiling water. And uh, these ones take 15 to 20 minutes to sit. So we're gonna get those babies going. And then along with them, we've got some garlic toast and cheddar cheese. Yeah. Let me see that uh, pad thai again. Where's us on the front there? We're right here. So there's Ted. There's me with the tent. Nice. That actually looks like Lady Evelyn to me, except for the mountains. Yeah, except for the giant summits. Actually, yeah, it does. Like the trees. Mm -hmm. And the, just the, and the rocks. rocks. Yeah. yeah. An interesting tent spot that guy's got there, just right on a boulder. Yeah, well, he's this just sitting a on a boulder. There. Yeah, there's a little clearing. That looks like a wonderful spot. It really does. For 800, 920 calories with that, that's pretty hearty. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. This one's veggie, of course. This one's meat, of course. We like both. So we're yeah, well, both. that one's only 600 calories, so a lot more calories in the pad thai. Yeah. So, and that's times two, of course, yeah. They're, less, you mean a lot less. Yeah, yeah, a lot less, uh, well, a lot more calories in the pad thai. Right. The, 
they're they're a hearty meal for one person though. Like oh yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Me, I like a, like you know variety in my meal. I don't just like eating like a whale bowl of pasta. So like you know I like to have sides, mix it up a little bit. So I'm glad we're doing half and half. Sweet. Let's get these things rocking. All right. I'm gonna bust those open. Take out that little doodad. Yeah. Do not eat. Don't want to swallow that down your neck. Oh, that smells good. Mm -hmm. That's the stroganoff? Stroganoff is good. Shot him in there. Looks like. (laughs) Yeah, it doesn't look like much. Smells really good though. Bad tie. Oh, there's a whole whack of stuff in here. Mm -hmm. You gotta take that out. Look at all those goodies. Peanuts, peanut sauce, peanut butter, peanut everything. Oh wow. Yeah. I've had to tell you gonna mix all this stuff in afterward. Check that out. Oh that looks good. Mm-hmm. Wow. A lot going on in there. <laughs> There's a lot going plus, on in plus there. Plus all, plus all those doodads. Nice. That's pretty epic. I'm excited. We almost forgot. Oh! Oh you did we almost forget you? you Did you your, want those? You had your doggy food. Yeah, you had your dog food. Um, yeah, I think to wash all this stuff down, we're going to have, uh, some fireball. Fireball. Might as well crack this baby open right now. Want swig bells? No. I do. It's actually apple juice. Cinnamon hearts. Sweet. In a bottle. Swig? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> no. By the way, me and Heather forgot spoons, so this is going to be very interesting. Awesome. Two and a half cups? Yeah, 600 ml. Two? Stroganoff. Ready and waiting. 15 to 20 minutes. It is. 10.20. We're eating late. Holy crap, I thought it was like 8.30. Heather didn't want to go to bed early, so she's getting her wish. All I'm right. a night owl. I don't go to bed early. Ready and waiting. Stroganoff. Oh, Stroganoff. Yeah. Strogan on. Stroganoff. That's good. That's good. Need a smidge Only more. two and a quarter, right? So. I oh. prefer them a little less watery than more. Mm, I was falling asleep. <laughs> Just trying to stay up to eat food, but you can't. Lay your head down. Lay your head down. So I'm just reading what the bag says, because that's all the literature we've brought. It says, oh, I'm seeing spots. Our delicious take on one of Thailand's national dishes. Our chef blends authentic Thai rice noodles with vegetables and a spicy peanut sauce, topped with roasted peanuts, lime juice, and sriracha powder. This is how you make the best seller even better. Pad Thai, Backpacker's Pantry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.
Bella's not spoiled at all. She gets massaged and belly rubs, all sorts of treats. Gets to go on all sorts of adventures. She definitely has a good life, this pup. Good girl. <laughs> good girl. Kiss her on the snout. Right on the lips? On the lips. <laughs> Yeah. So the stroganoff is ready. It smells delicious. Like it really, really smells good. Looks on the other hand, you know, not not great. <laughs> but none of them look good. Mm. Mm, but if you could smell it. Oh, it smells good. How are you gonna eat that without a spoon? Yeah, we um, don't have utensils, so it should be interesting. We're gonna slurp it out of a bowl. Yeah, we're gonna try to drink our dinners out of a bowl. Wish us luck, sounds messy. <laughs> we can use like some chopstick mm, pieces of stick, just shovel it in. <laughs> Add lime and sriracha to taste. Adding all of the sriracha is like a medium heat at a Thai restaurant. Stir, then sprinkle peanuts over entree and serve. The um, lime juice, it's a uh, crystallized lime. So we're gonna add this in. First, let's have a look-see, shall we? Oh yeah. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> that might sting a little. Mmm, smells like a margarita. Lime in sriracha. This looks really hearty. Reminds me of like Chef Boy or whatever, no? Mm -hmm. Or like a hamburger helper mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yum. It's good. See, we don't need spoons. <laughs> Good. That is good. I think it's good. I like the stroganoff. Stroganoff is a win for me. Although it is um, 10 o'clock and we haven't eaten in a long time and we've been doing a lot of work. So uh, things always taste better when you're hungry and you've done a lot of work. But it's pretty good, I gotta say. I like the stroganoff. I don't think I've ever had backpackers pantry. I think I had like a mountain house or something. But um, this one is a win. Yes, for me. Mm. Yes, for you. No. I don't really like this. No? No, it's just lying. Oh. It's like the gravy flavor. I don't like it. So Heather doesn't actually like it. She was lying. <laughs> I like it, but Heather's reviews is a no. I'm eating it. You're eating it. I'm eating it. It's a little like dog foodie. It's not crazy about the gravy flavor, but I'm not too picky. I was um, I don't know if uh, you guys know, but I was on the show alone. And I uh, survived 75 days out there. Uh, it was a season where there was two family members. I was with my brother. And uh, we survived off just mm -hmm. absolute... Some stuff was good. 
but a lot of it was just disgusting just absolute just whatever you can scrape off the ocean floor and ate it so i'm not really the best uh person to review what's good and not good i'd say so if heather says it's not really that great i'd probably take her word for it because i'd you know pretty much eat uh almost anything so it's not bad it's not bad i don't think i would um you know make it at home or anything it's got meat in it so there's a plus there i think it's more like the gravy sauce there's like mushrooms and stuff in it but it's just you know kind of reminds me of like a canned like stew or chef boyardee or you know which is like not bad canned dog food looks like that too <laughs> <laughs> spoons really come in handy folks don't forget your spoons that's very interesting <laughs> there's still so much there's the pad thai it's a lot in here mm -hmm. rice noodles and peanuts and all sorts of stuff stroganoff first pad thai Okay. Which wins the day? Let's see. Pad Thai for me. Pad Thai wins. Heather's reviews. I like the Pad Thai. It's got a nice spicy kick. I like that. Let me have another bite. Mm-hmm. I like the pad thai. It's really flavorful. You can tell it's hearty. It's just really good. I literally feel like I'm like, like this would be served at like a restaurant. Really? Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't look like much, but it's got all the flavors in there. You can really taste that lime, the sriracha, the peanuts. Mmm. I recommend the pad thai. I'd buy this again. Wow, rave rave review by Heather. It was really yummy. You think it tastes better off a pine stick? Everything tastes better off a pine stick. Mmm. <laughs> It's pretty spicy, actually, with all the sriracha. If I could do it over, I maybe wouldn't have put the whole pouch in at once, but it was good. I like it. I like different flavors. Nice. Oh, oh, my back. Hi, down, honey. These kind of adventures aren't too, too forgiving on the old backy poo. Water in it, too. Oh yeah, and that sriracha really grabs you by the boo boo, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty spicy. And then off a pine stick. Mm-hmm. Makes me wonder why we ever bring spoons. <laughs> I think what it is with these kind of meals is it doesn't really matter what the ingredients are or how tasty it is or what it is. It comes down to you have to mix it with water so no matter what, it's kind of a texture thing. Everything's kind of mushy and soggy. But as far as flavor goes, this one packs a punch. And that is it for Heather's Reviews. Alex cleans the dishes. A little dishwasher. Girl. You're gonna eat five pieces? Mm -hmm. I'm a growing boy.
I've got a hotty C, aka hot chocolate, with marshmallows and all the fixins. Mmm. And by the fixins, I mean just like the more expensive instant hot chocolate bag you can buy. Like that cook side I got, eh? It's good. Um, yeah, I still have mixed feelings about the uh, cook saw. You know, it's like I just kind of want to hold it like this, like a cup, and I have to be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my wrist is all like cramping in here, like it hurts and like it's weird. Stop being a wuss. I am being a wuss, and I hold it like this, it's okay, but it's still. The mug you used to use didn't even have a handle. Yeah, but at least you like just held it like this. Like my wrist <laughs> works that way. My wrist doesn't really work this way, you know? Like what is that? Anyway, but this way it's good, but I do feel like I'm gonna drop it and I also feel like I'm like showing up to some like ancient Roman s s soup giveaway. Yeah, you said that about the box saw, and then I saw you predominantly using my box saw. Uh, actually, I don't mean to diss the cook saw. It's actually, it's great. <laughs> it's really good. It's I bought that one. You it's, believe in? It's super light, and uh, it holds a lot, and it's 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 really good. I want to make one myself. But yeah, yeah. no, just holding it, if, if you were like eating out of it or whatever, but holding it like this to drink isn't the most comfortable. I, I like holding it like this is a little better. Um, yeah, no, it's cool. I picked that one up, and then shortly after, I won this one. That one's better. So now I have two. This one has finger holes. Yeah, that one's better. This one, this is better, in my opinion, for drinking. I have two. I figured old Ted could, uh, use one once in a while, you know? Mmm. More like me force him to use that one instead of the old crummy ones. Mm. What actually happened here is some pad tie had whipped in this cup, so Heather <laughs> ditched it on me. And she took the one that was clean and fresh. <laughs> mm. Alright, let me have some of that. Okay. Mm. Jarlac bread. Oh. Thank you. Mm. Cheers. Come on, cheers. <laughs> mm. Yum. Um, finishing out with some garlic bread. Some decent meals. And, um, but I'm pretty exhausted. I think uh, we're just gonna duck into sleep here right after this, and we'll catch you in the morning. Would you agree, Heather? So this is good night. It's been a good day. Mm -hmm. But I'm sleepy too. Mm -hmm. Good night, Belly. Good night. Good night, Bella. Love you. <laughs> we love you. You can't have garlic bread. Mm -hmm. Good night, everybody. Peace. Good night.
Nothing bad. We're all snuggled in and don't want to get up, but I can hear the coffee water boiling. Mm -hmm. That is exciting. And Bella hears squirrels. Good. Are they taunting you?
girl. Good girl, Belly. Well done. Good girl. Puppy, the lifeblood. Coffee tastes better when camping and out of a wooden mug. What are we eating for breakfast, Heather? We are having Belgian waffles. They have a nice like little sugary sweet coating on them. And we're gonna put, we've got blueberries here that have kind of turned into like a blueberry jam, which is nice because we didn't bring any maple syrup. So we're gonna put uh, these over the fire, warm them up and put the blueberry sauce on top. We also have some pre-made home fries with onions. So we're gonna throw those on the pan, put it over the wood stove, crisp them up. So home fries and Belgian waffles with blueberry sauce. Pretty sweet. And those are um, actual uh, wild blueberries. Yeah, yeah, they're frozen. They're still pretty cold, uh -huh. but they've defrosted. Of I kind of like them being frozen. It's like, makes it like a dessert. Yeah. That was really good. I like those waffles, eh? Pretty spacious. Putting on my redhead wool socks. Best socks money can buy.
shaggy here. It's uh, come in really handy on these winter camping trips. Best ground pad you can have. Pretty heavy though. It is heavy. <laughs> and bulky. <laughs> yes. But if you just forgot everything, all your clothes and your sleeping bag and stuff, you could just wrap in that and you'd be fine. Yep. I'm really liking it. Do you enjoy stuffing it in the bag? Good old shaggy. Um, I don't enjoy stuffing it in the bag. Kind of like this, you know, sleeping bags in the stuff sacks. Like it just, you know, but it's all part of it. There's a stool on the edges though. So, it's kind of uh, easier to envision it with the uh, tent missing. Um, well, hello. This is uh, the layout. So lots of boughs. Heather had, had a few more. A few more. And Bella, Bella also got lots of boughs. Lots of boughs. So Bella was right in the middle here on the musk ox pelt. She f had full range of the musk ox pelt. Heather and I just kind of had like a little bit of either side because of the way we use it. If you use it lengthwise, you both fit on it. But the way we did it's fine. Um, your main head and torso to about here is on it. So that's good. Um, if you wanted to sleep really warm, you'd sleep lengthwise on it. We'd both fit, no problem. Um, but yeah, so I was here. Bella was here and Heather was over there and we have plenty of room on each side to keep you know clothes whatever um, you know frying pans and then the stove was here and this is all it is it's just the center ridge pole it's right in the middle um, you can hang stuff off it to dry uh, a little tip is uh, if you're using this style don't necessarily cut all the little branches off of it because they're kind of convenient to hang things like socks or whatever to drive you can tie a little string but that's why i do that if you don't have to um so kind of easy just one center pole and tie it off now uh, you don't have to bring poles with you you could bring an extended pole for this design but you don't have to just find a dead tree and uh, just pop that in um, there are a lot of tie-offs. That's the knock compared to one that has poles that just stakes. And that's where we had the stove, if you can't tell. It's, uh, we dug it out and you gotta prop it up on two pieces of wood because the stove we have, the feet aren't tall enough. So it gets too close to the ground and when the snow melts and the leaves and everything are there, it actually start burning. So you gotta put it up. That's why we had those two pieces of wood that we stood the stove on uh, in addition to the feet. But yeah, pretty comfy, pretty spacious. Uh, another pro tip is bring a lantern in here. Uh, we did have a lantern hanging from up there and it just lights up the whole space and you're not just fuddling with headlamps. So uh, that's pretty good to, to use that. Um, other than that, it smells wonderful. Oh, what a nice day. 
Tether, come have a nap. Guys, it was a really fun little overnighter with Heather and Bella. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you subscribe for more family adventures. And uh, come along for all the different outings. Yay, we appreciate you guys watching. So yeah, please like and subscribe if you like the adventures and Oh, what a good little dog. <laughs> okay, go on. Did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. I love winter camping, especially in these wonderful mild temperatures. Sun is shining, the snow is glistening, it's not minus 30, and it's just really comfortable. I, I find it more comfortable than... Um, you know, summer camping sometimes with the bugs and like the extreme heat and the humidity in the tent and you wake up just sweating buckets and uh -huh. I just find it a lot more comfortable. It's a lot easier to just, uh, you know, dress appropriately and have the right winter clothing and uh, it really makes all the difference. Yeah, it's uh, your sleeping bag, you know, or kind of confining and claustrophobic feeling. But when it gets really cold and you're really tucked in there, it feels so wonderful, like this cocoon when the stove goes out. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's where you want to be. Hello. Face the camera, silly. Hi. <laughs> Hi, is this what we're, what we're all doing now? Good. Everyone lay on dad. Good girl. <laughs> um, so yeah, this, as Heather was saying this time of year, so... We're into the first week of March here, and spring is in the air. The days are much longer. We get more sunlight, and the temperatures are much warmer, but you still have the, the perks of winter. So right now it's above freezing, and uh, we're just relaxing. It's just so nice. So, so nice. it's a good time of year to try winter camping, as opposed to like the heart of January or early February kind of thing. It's it's uh that's that's harder because yeah minus 30 or whatever minus 40 even um it's it's a little harder uh to learn that way so this is the time of year to do it i'd say because the ice on the lakes and ponds is also really thick it's like the thickest and uh and safe as well but it's not minus a million so anyway um i think it's time to go hopefully you guys enjoyed this adventure please like and subscribe if you like it um, let us know if you think Belle is better without a collar or with a collar in the comments. Another fun adventure in the books. Mm -hmm. She's so pretty without her collar, I think. You're a pretty girl. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, for those of you who are wondering, Bella is half yellow lab and half German short hair pointer. Her father was a purebred German short hair pointer and her mother was a purebred yellow lab. So she's not a chocolate lab. Whew. <sighs>